Welcome to the second in our series of temporary traffic control videos. Thanks for joining us. In this video, we will look at one of the most frequently occurring work zones. We will examine temporary traffic control, or TTC, recommendations for work that occupies a location for more than one hour, or a stationary work operation that results in a lane closure on a two-lane road using flaggers. For guidance on establishing TTC zones, we will use the Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices, or MUTCD. The MUTCD provides TTC layouts designed for uniform and efficient operation and to minimize the occurrence of crashes. For a lane closure on a two-lane road using flaggers, we refer to Typical Application 10 from Chapter 6H of the MUTCD. As we can see, the Advanced Warning Area, the section of highway where road users are informed about the upcoming work zone, is comprised of three signs. The first sign seen by traffic is a road work ahead sign, followed by a one lane road ahead sign, and the final sign seen by traffic is the flagger sign. A be prepared to stop sign may be added to the sign series. When used, it should be located between the flagger sign and the one lane road ahead sign. Flashing warning lights and or flags may be used to call attention to the advanced warning signs. The flagger is located at the end of the advanced warning area. Flaggers are always one of the most vulnerable positions. Providing adequate sight distance for the flagger and a queue of stopped vehicles is very important. If the roadwork has a curve, like this layout, position the flagger in advance of the curve. Everyone, flaggers and road users, need adequate visibility. The transition area is a section of highway where road users are redirected out of their normal path. The taper used in the transition area in this application is the one lane, two way traffic taper. It is 50 to 100 feet in length. The third area is the activity area. In this section of the TTC zone, the work activity takes place. This area is comprised of the workspace, the traffic space, and the buffer space. It is important to note that the buffer space separates road users from the workspace and might provide some recovery space for an errant vehicle. Neither work activity nor equipment should be within a buffer space. The termination area is used to return road users to their normal path. It extends from the downstream end of the activity area to the last TTC device, such as in road work signs. Notes for typical application 10 Lane closure on a two-lane road using flaggers provides specific guidance for the layout. For an example of this application, we will visit with the Lee County Highway Department. As we can see, the advanced warning area begins with the road work ahead sign. This is typically the first notification that road users receive that a work zone is ahead. About 500 feet later, the road users see the one-lane road ahead sign and the final sign seen by traffic is the flagger sign. Next, we see the flagger. The flagger is located at the end of the advanced warning area. The flagger station has been placed for adequate sight distance for both the flagger and the road users. Traffic then enters the transition area, where they are redirected out of their normal path into the temporary traffic space. The taper used in this application is a one-lane, two-way traffic taper, 50 to 100 feet in length. After passing through the transition, traffic enters the activity area beginning with a buffer space. The buffer space must be free of work. That means no workers, material, nor equipment should be within the buffer space. Finally, users encounter the termination area, where road users are safely returned to their normal path. The TTC layout for a stationary work operation that results in a lane closure on a two-lane road using flaggers is one of the most commonly used layouts for maintenance and utility operations. Some of the important points to remember include use at minimum the three advanced warning signs outlined in the typical application 10, provide adequate sight distance for the flagger and a queue of stopped vehicles, and keep the buffer space free of workers, material, and equipment. For more information about traffic control for work zones, visit the MUTCD on the Federal Highway Administration's website or the Alabama Transportation Assistance Program.